Hey everybody, welcome to Real Magic Review and welcome to my first interview with Jonathan Levitt. So before we do that, please like, subscribe, check out cardmagiccourse.com. I've just put two more videos on there for the Royal Road course. Now a few people have been asking, you can buy that Royal Road course, which is an ever expanding thing, uh, on its own, or you get it as part as this, uh, part of the subscription package. So when you sign up to Card Magic Course, nine 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 a month, that you get everything that I do, my lecture and the lot. Uh, or you can buy them as separate things. Uh, so first of all, huge thank you to Jonathan for doing this. Um, it's something I've wanted to do for a long time: is get creators talking about the stuff that they do and magicians. And it's of course with the work of putting everything together and expanding, it's something that I've been a little bit daunted about, and I'm really really appreciative and uh, for, um, and thanks so much again for Jonathan for doing this for giving me an hour of his time it was a long interview and that's what these are going to be I'm not going to kind of cut them down to a concise thing this is an opportunity for creators and magicians to talk about what they want to talk about uh, and I got the idea because I was well I wanted to do it for a while interviews but I was looking at the app and there was so much in it and I thought wouldn't it be nice rather than trying me to remember all these different things uh, for Jonathan to come on and talk about it himself because he's in it he's doing it every day in and out so it was a real pleasure to talk to him I hope you enjoy it any feedback would be greatly appreciated okay this is the first of many I'm not sure what the sound's going to be like or anything yet I think there was an issue with my mic but you can hear me and that's fine uh, but genuine feedback would be really appreciated because hopefully there'll be many many interviews I will be doing them incidentally separately from the reviews so you can watch the interview and then come a few days later we'll do the the live um, tomorrow i'll talk about it then so come with any questions about it then uh, and it'd be great to see you okay enjoy it and i'll see you at the other end we're sorry the number you have dialed is not in service at this time Hey, hey, dude, that was funny. That was that really freaked me out because I saw your face and I heard your voice, and it was like, oh, he's lagging. Is he talking? Is he talking? Yes, yeah, right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, it's gone wrong already. Thank God we're not doing it live. Yeah. No, how are you, my friend? I'm good. I'm really good. And it's really, thank you so much for doing this. Um, we're recording now. I might. Oh, I'm so happy. Now. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's not a formal interview, as many people who see my show will know. Um, but you are the first. You are my first interview with a creator. So I love that. it. I yeah. love it. I'm so glad to be doing this. How funny. Is it, is it 11 o'clock there? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, which was quite funny because when you, you, you emailed me earlier and said, should we do it at three your time? And I, I Googled it and it said that would be like midnight here. And I was thinking I got up at six. And then it wasn't at all. So it, when I said it might be a bit late, it was like, what, 11 o'clock? <laughs> it's, it's not too late. <laughs> so uh, it's, it's absolutely fine. It's worked out well. And where are I you? you I've seen you in this situation on your videos. It looks like you're in some sort of long palace. Is it, This is your backdrop, right? You're, I've just realized it's your... No, that's a, that's a hallway. That's a hallway. Is, is it yeah. really? Oh, it is. I thought it... That's... So what, what? I know everybody thinks everybody thinks it's a background. Yeah, brilliant, uh, brilliant. Or, or it's a great background. It's the new three D. You know, it's a new. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Your next app. That's what. That's the yeah. new. <laughs> it's my next app, right? No, oh, mommy uh, cute for humans. Right. Yeah, yeah. Huh. No, it's uh, it's. Uh, I live in a historic building in Pasadena, California, uh, in L.A., and uh, it's built in 1898. So in L.A., that's old. In the United yeah. States, that's old. Uh, it, n nothing compared to the rest of the world, but in the United States, it's old. So uh, this was, used to be an ho old hotel, it's now condos, but it's a very famous uh, building and it's been restored back to its old glory. So it's really this lovely building. But what's cool is we do a lot of uh, filming here of TV and film. You see it all the time. And for our viewers that are magicians, uh, they'll appreciate the fact that the prestige was, was shot here. 
Oh, great. The wow. movie with Hugh Jackman and Christian yeah, yeah. Bale. So that, that's kind of fun. So when, he, when, he, when Hugh Jackman's in Boulder and he's, he opens up those big doors and comes into the hotel and there's a, there's a front desk of a, of, a, of a hotel and the, the sweeping bookcase behind, uh, that's our building. So Brilliant. it's kind of fun. Kind of fun, yeah. Well, it's, it's good to see. It's good, yeah. I've been watching all your videos, and and the stranger has become a um, it's become a cult. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's become a really good community. I, I heard, I heard about it. A, a guy called Justin Exley texted me about it because I was starting to review apps, and I was one of these people for a long time that was like, ah, oh, you know, a sleight of hand. I don't really do apps. Um, and apps have now started becoming something bigger than the app. You know, like, yeah. it, 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 well, I think when they first came out, there was like the rising card and all these things, and it was it was nice, it was cute, but now they're sort of becoming a different thing. And, and uh, I think there was the Mammy Cube and Cube Smith, and then this, and with these whole communities built around them, they're actually yeah. doing a lot more than a trick with an app. It, 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 and the stranger is a, you know, I'm not here just to big it up and sell it for you, but just just to actually so it a, it is a big thing, and it and it's it seems to be grown by a day. I mean, you're doing these daily updates. Yeah, uh, I'm trying, and yes, and I'm I'm very engaged in that. Uh, not only the development of it, but the the community around it. And I'll tell you about it. But but I do want to come back to the community because I think that's the most important thing. Um, yeah. The effect itself, you know, for me creates the biggest and best response I've ever had in my 40 years of doing magic. And I say that not lightly, uh, that on stage, whether I'm, whether I'm on stage for a large group or I'm in an intimate group or a small close up room situation or just with a few people around a t- coffee table, it, it's, I never have received reactions like I do with the stranger. And the reason is uh, that you are creating an experience. And I think this is, you're talking about app magic. This is, you know, forget apps for a second. Think about how we are as magicians and what we have to create as magicians. We have to create an experience, right? An event, uh, something that t- touches somebody on an emotional level. And and the stranger is, has what we've done in the stranger is to create a, uh, created a, um, it's, it's an experience. Right? You're, it's a performance, and and there are things built into it to to rise the you know create an emotional rise in the audience, and then a letdown. So a, a re- you know and a release, right? A rise and a release, and then when you get to the final reveal, whatever that happens to be, uh, there's this emotional outburst. And so uh, we just like constructing a good magic trick. The stranger has been constructed in a way to allow that to happen during the performance. And so uh, we have to think in terms of, you know, when we're, you know, app magic is not something I really enjoyed or appreciated early on, right? When, when we were first seeing them hit the scene and now that's changed. I mean, there's uh, the, the, the level, the quality out there of, of some of these, these effects are just off the chart. And, and uh, I always believed that it was the, it was the combination of the digital and the, the analog that had to take place for them to really work, that we had to feel as an audience, because we know that we're holding in our hands a, a computer that, that can put somebody on the moon, you know? Yeah. And so, uh, so the fact that you're doing something with your phone, it's not that impressive, we know that. So we have to break through that and have an organic analog experience and for the, for the trick to really sing. And, and I, and uh, so that, I think that's the goal. And I think many of these effects are now starting to do that. That's what we try to, I try to accomplish with stranger is that your, your, the phone is just the phone, right? We're not using the phone for any odd reason. We're not using it as a piece of technology. We're using it as a phone. And so anybody in the audience, they all have their phones. And so when you take your phone out, you go, we're gonna make a phone call. But okay, that makes sense. It's a very natural thing to do. And so, the stranger, which allows for um, you, uh, any, you know, something is, is chosen, whether it's a playing card or now in the version two for iPhone, whether it's a word or, or a number or, or, you know, any piece of information, a serial number on a dollar bill, whatever it is, that piece of information, uh, you can make a phone call to a random uh, number generated by the audience. And without you even touching the phone, that number entered into the phone, you call that seemingly random person, you have a real phone conversation and they reveal it. So it, it's a very natural thing. Uh, and the fear comes from 
the audience, you know, when you say we're going to call somebody we don't know, you can see the audience immediately go, oh, uh, ooh, ooh, we're not supposed to do that, you know? Yeah. And so there's an emotional uh, reaction there just from the, the, the plot, right? And, and of course, it comes from the old wizard uh, uh, plot, you know, that's the, the genesis of that from, you know, from years ago is the old wizard plot. So that, that plot works. So then we have to put it in, in, a, in a way with the technology that, that enhances that plot and, and makes it even more, uh, more impossible and more, more emotional. So it, anyway, I'm, I'm rambling, but yes, that, it's, no, it's a very exciting thing. Yeah. Do you know, I never apologize for rambling on this show. This is, this is, this is what it's famous for. So it's, it's, it's not going to be a concise, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be doing very little editing for this. Um, it, Don't edit it, anything. It, no, no. It, well, it's, it's funny that I always, when I was getting into car magic, I always read this effect, okay, the wizard effect in many books and this idea of having this phone someone. And it was one of those things that I kind of thought, yeah, it's kind of cool, but setting it all up. And, and this, this has kind of cut through that if you want it to. It's, it's got, I don't know how much you want to give away. It's, it's just magicians. I'm not going to, I'm not going to expose anything, but there's obviously. Our audience is. Sorry? Our, our audience is primarily magicians. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. I'm I'm very transparent about all this stuff. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll be on YouTube, but it's a magic product review channel. So if any layman come across it, they turn off after two minutes. Four, so great, great, great. And, and my rambling has certainly got them to turn off at this point. <laughs> so mine usually uh, after, yeah. I, I don't look at my average viewing uh, time anymore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. but um, but you're gonna do what you do. Uh, it, it's it's one of the it, it can't, there's two ways of performing it right there's 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 this rec recording do you mind me saying that there's a no it's okay the way of doing it with with a confederate a friend which actually it's it's a lot easier than you think it is it sets it up so that's the easiest thing in the world which is a fear i think the fear is setting this stuff up and it's sounding naff it's sounding fake i always think of electric chairs things like that you know when you've seen that and you look at it and go, that's clearly this kind of I think it's a lot easier than that sort of thing. But I, I just the, the recorded version has scared me. It scared me as to perform it. And because of that, I did it today on a couple of people. Uh, because I just wanted to, yeah, I, I did it over Zoom and, um, and didn't, didn't record it. I actually tried to record it for myself and then forgot to record for somebody, but that's another thing. But I was really su surprised at the at the effect. I think once you've done it once, you realize that it's a lot easier than you think. The questions that I had going into it were, with recording, you've got to think about timing. You've got to think about kind of, is it going to sound obvious? Don't you? And when you do it the first time, it, you, you're like, I'm not going to get away with this. You know, it's, but then you realize actually it's, it feels very, it just feels natural. To, it's in, you, you've scripted it really well, but you don't have to think about too much about timing. And obviously the way the timing works is incredibly easy. You, you've, thought of all that and it's you've got all these really tiny details in it that actually made it I mean once I did it once I was like this is and that's with the basic version like right? then you've got this new stuff which is like I can't I mean one of my <laughs> one of my questions is going to be like if you'd have known how much work this was going to take taken would you have done it I mean you, this is like I was watching a thing today and the, the guy that's helping you out what's he called um What's the guy that's been helping you out a lot uh, on your uh, Tad Nyland? Yeah, Tad. Tad was saying that this is all you do now. This is it. You know. Yeah, Mad Tad. That's right. Um, Mad Tad. You know, when that speaks. Okay, I, I want to come back. There's a lot to unpack there. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. Let me first say the record. Let me talk about the recordings, and then I'm going to talk about the amount of work it's been, and then I'm going to talk about uh, Tad and the rest of the community. Um, and uh, by the way, I was just talking to Tad. And I literally said, I have to run. I'm about to do this great interview with, with, with Steve. So I uh, just hung up the phone with him. Um, uh, nice. So the recordings, yeah. The, so the, the, there are two different ways to do it, right? One with a live stranger, which is mind blowing. You know, you're really calling a real person. And if you're yeah. on an iPhone, you can transition that call into a FaceTime call. So <laughs> you're doing a video call with a lot. And that just blows it out of the water. Just throw the believability. Yeah. Uh, just goes through the roof. So uh, you're doing a live video call with somebody on the other end. They're talking to the audience. There have been times I, in Blackpool, uh, we we did it. I had a group of French folks come up. I've got a video on the, online for this. And we called someone in France. I didn't say a word because I don't speak French anymore. Yeah. Uh, they, I just held the phone. They had a conversation. They went to FaceTime. They're talking to each other. I'm just standing there. 
right? And then the person just says, name the, name the playing card. And the card is revealed. They freaked out because yeah. I'm not saying a word. They're really having a phone conversation. So it's fantastic. Um, and then the other side of that is, is um, the other side of that is the recordings, right? So built in are these recordings that allow you to have a playing card reveal. And when you do that, when, uh, when you have the playing card revealed during the conversation, you're exactly right. It has to sound real, has to sound not like a recording. And so I've taken a lot of care to make those conversations sound organic. In fact, so much care that I've had to remove some, I'm just being full disclosure, remove some of the recordings because the feedback has been, that one doesn't, that doesn't sound right in, in our language or our region or our country, that, that, that's not how we would say it. And so I've had to pull some and we would do them and put them back up. So there's a lot of care that goes into making them exactly right. And I listen to the community and I listen to the feedback that comes to me and, and I continually try to make adjustments, which speaks to your second question. But, uh, but those recordings, they're organic. Uh, they're just normal phone conversations. And so I have tried to script them that way and then also edit them in such a way that it's easy for the magician. Uh, so I have the interactions from the stranger coming at, um, at exact moments on a time code. Yeah, and by zero. the whole number. And then, yeah. yeah, and then as it turns out, you have a timer on your screen during a phone conversation. So you're being cued on screen. So it's really, people have said to me, I don't know, can I learn this? I go, give it a half hour of practice and you'll be fine, you know? And there have been instances, you know, I have, first of all, there are magicians that are ending their show as their finale yeah. with a recording. Yeah, no, no, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't hesitate to do the recording. Yeah, yeah, so I, I'm quite, quite thrilled. In fact, it's funny, there's one recording uh, made for the US, you can use it everywhere, but made for the US market that was released in the first version, pizza. It's a 35 second recording. Yeah, it's a you nice call, idea. I, you call a pizza place, it's very fast. The guy's trying to get you to order a pizza. Yeah. You ask him to name a card. You know, there's very little interaction from the magician. It's just very quick and he names the card and it's sort of amazing. So I remember I, got, I had a story from a magician who called, uh, this is now uh, shortly after it was released, a few months after it was released. And he said, I just want to thank you. This is really great. I said, oh yeah, sure. He goes, I just came back from NACA, which is, uh, the national, it's for um, college campuses for performers and it's a big conference and you have to go and if you get a spot uh, to, to showcase your, your whatever you're doing, uh, your content, uh, magician go and perform something, then all the college campuses, they would either talk to you about hiring you and it's just a great place to do that. Um, and he said, I just came back from NACA and I did the stranger for my showcase. That's all I did. And I got off stage and eight schools immediately came up and said what was that we want to hire you i was like that's great so that translates to a lot of money as far as bookings are concerned and i said wow you did you call a live stranger he goes no i i, I didn't i go use the recording okay which one did you use he goes pizza i said so you got up on stage did a 35 second re recording and you got eight bookings i, I said that's you know and 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 it, it, it was actually a moment where I said, oh, oh, it really works, it really works, yeah. you know, because I'm close to it, you know, and so it, it's great, it's great. It's nice to hear and the feedback is positive. I'm very happy about that. So the recordings are great and should not be taken lightly. Um, calling a live stranger is mind blowing, but yeah, the record, I put a lot of care into the recordings and continue to want to do that and I recorded 25 languages now. They're not all available. They've been recorded. Um, some are still being edited and being uploaded uh, throughout through time, but they, they're all ready to go. So, um, and that was a huge under, undertaking to record these in 25 languages. So well, you had to think about the audio fun. in the background and the, 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 there was, you, you're going into real detail with the audio and like putting bits of audio together, obviously because of the revelations and things like that. So yeah. So what's happening is the recordings are being stitched together, you know, so yeah. it's, it's not just, it's not 52 record, full recordings where a card is revealed. And these are not just recordings, they're conversations, right? So there's, there's gaps for the magician to speak. And, and, and so what the app is doing is it's stitching together three pieces of audio. 
So, and the reason for that at it, the beginning, the card reveal and the end. And the reason for that is so that we don't bloat the, the app. If you had 52 recordings all with, you know, different uh, cards, the app would be huge. Yeah, yeah. So this was the most streamlined and efficient way to do it. But when you do that, you have to make sure that, that when they stitch together, you don't, you don't get this kind of thing happening, yeah, you course. know? So it's gotta be nice and smooth as glass. And so part of that, not only is in the recording and the way it's recorded and edited, but, but the, the background noise. People have said, oh, for the pizza place, you should have ambient noise. It's a pizza place. Yeah. Well, at first I did. I thought that too, you know, have noise in the background, you know? And the, the problem is, is that when you make those cuts, that you, you hear the, the, the cut. So I had to make a choice to remove that. And as it turns out, it doesn't, doesn't affect it. It's always, you know, good. So, so a lot of thought went into to creating those recordings, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I think as well, for those people that get it, and again, we're not affiliated, I've got to really stress. Uh, the other thing I was going to say is that this is alcohol-free, by the way. Anybody, it, it, it genuinely is, I don't drink. <laughs> <'Cause it's, laughs> yeah. I don't know, YouTube are going to be... Um, but um, yeah, it, when, I, when you hear those recordings, because what, the, the minute you know what it is, you're in danger of kind of going, oh, it looks, it sounds too clean, it sounds too active. In that, it doesn't. It's almost like when you, if you ever see a friend acting in something, you never buy it, right? Because you know he's acting. It's kind of like that thing. It's, uh, so, and a lot of people have said, I think, that when you hear it first, you go, am I going to get what you start doubting it? It's like when you find out the method of a trick, and it's a simple method. You go, I'm not going to. And I, until the minute I did it, it was, I could see that there was just no inclination that that was a real. I mean, just no, not at all. And the fact you, like the hints that you give that talking over it is actually more natural than waiting for the next bit. You know, so butting in and and all these things, and that's again the, the detail is so important that, that you go into all the things you can say leading up to it that make it. You know, the convincers is another. You know, the, yeah, the convincers. Yeah, you know. it's about and then again that's that emotional rise and release, yeah. right? The convincer, what I call a convincer, is uh, the first call you make ends up being a disconnected number, yeah. or it might be a voicemail, or it might be somebody that hangs up on you, right? And then by the time you finally get to a call that is a, a real call, whether it's through a live stranger or the recording or the reveal, uh, by that point, the audience has, has already been on the edge of their seat and then they go, ugh, you know? Yeah. So when, they're, when you build up that tension and the first number goes to a disconnected number, the audience yeah, yeah, go, yeah. ugh, you know? Yeah. And, and the other fine. thing, you're, you're absolutely. And what I've found is, you know, when you do a new trick, you're always nervous, aren't you? A new trick, anybody is, you know, no matter how long you've been working, it's a brand new thing. The great thing about this is you can say, I'm really nervous, we're calling a stranger. So if you're nervous about doing the trick, you can be nervous. And, and I was, because I was, but you can actually play on that and go, oh God, I'm really nervous, this is really weird. And, and, and it kind of adds to it. I've had a lot of magicians say, well, how do I do it? What do I, <clears throat> what do, I do? And I said, imagine, if you were calling somebody for real that you didn't know, how would you feel? Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. <laughs> Just and you would be that. tongue tied and you'd be kind of, you know, so, so that's another thing. Don't make it too crisp. For those people that, that haven't seen it, I just did. Basically, so the, 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 the basic effect in it, which is incredibly strong, is that if someone takes a card, you can see it or not, you can do it in various ways, uh, and you call either the recording or the a stranger which is set up and that can go into a FaceTime and there's a lot you can do around that with the convincers but there's also these other added things and and you've you've got in-app purchases we'll be transparent about that you've got two quite significant in-app purchases yeah as you can say purchases um but it and, and part of me when I saw that was like ah but then I think with a good thing was you added the custom as a as a free part of that, which I was glad about actually. If, I, if that had been in our purchase as well, I'd have been like, oh man, I, which one am I gonna buy? Am I, and, um, so just explain the custom, because I think the custom bit is really a, a, a deal breaker for, for a lot of people. Yeah, 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 I appreciate that. Um, so, in, so the version one of the app was a playing card reveal, okay? And, and people would ask me, well, are you gonna be able to do more than a playing card? And by the way, the playing card, is amazing, you know, it has been. Yeah, it's all I've done. Yeah, and, but, but I always knew that I wanted to add more anyway. So I released version 2.0 for iPhone about a, what, a week and a half, two weeks ago, something like this. Um, and at the same time released version 1.0 for Android. 
So Android now at that moment was, was in parity with what version, uh, with the release on iPhone was at that time prior to 2.0. So you can do all of that now on, on Android as well, which I'm very proud of and happy about. Um, but version 2.0 for iPhone and has new features, as you're saying, and those will all be ported over to Android at some point here. So uh, you can now reveal to a live stranger anything, right? Whether it's a, a word or whether it's a number or a serial number on a bill or you know anything you can imagine, you can reveal to a stranger, to a live call uh, or have a live caller reveal. So, that, so the answer is, yeah, you can do anything now. Yeah, not just a playing card, whatever you want, whatever your mind and imagination can come up with, you can do. Uh, and you're right, there are some in-app purchases, um, both two modules for revelations. One is a book test module to allow um, any book test uh, word to be revealed by the stranger. So wh whatever your book test words are, you can input into the app. Uh, but, but that means that that opens up other possibilities as well. It doesn't have to be book test words. It could be countries or, or names of, of men, women, or boys and girls, or it yeah. could be um, objects in a woman's purse. It could, it could be anything you can imagine can be put into that module. So that's a very powerful module. Um, a number module that allows for any number to be revealed, whether it's how much change is in your pocket or, um, or what time is it or whatever you can imagine uh, that's an, a digit that can be put in. So those are very powerful modules and they, have, they are in-app purchases. But yes, with the, the, uh, the update, which has no cost to it, is the custom module that comes with it. And that is incredibly powerful uh, because it, it allows for anything to be input on the fly yeah. or to be set up beforehand and then sent. So you could, you, could set up, you could set up a serial number on a bill before and then switch the bill in and then that would be sent to the stranger um, for the reveal. So, uh, but, but also on the fly, you can type anything in the name of somebody in the audience or um, uh, you know, any word, any, anything that you can type into a keyboard can be typed in on the fly. And we have swipe keyboard now too. So that means I can type incredibly fast right in front of you and the audience will be none the wiser. So anything can be input. And uh, nobody's, nobody's said to me, oh, these in-app purchases, uh, I can't believe you're charging for them. Nobody has any, had any problem for that, with that at all. Um, but if it, and if they did, a very simple response is yes, but also with the thing that you don't, that is included, there's so many possibilities. You know, it really opens the door. What I try to do is to give as much as I can. Uh, and then there are in-app purchases and full disclosure. Part of that has to be the case because uh, the, the development cost for this is off the chart. And I am all in, not only emotionally, but financially. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, and so if, if I have to have ways to, to keep the development cost moving for you know, keep it moving forward. And so, so what I'm always going to try to do is if there's an in-app purchase, there's also something else that you can benefit from that doesn't, that doesn't cost you extra. So I'm always gonna to try to give you a nice balance. And that custom field really, really does that. And also included in the update is the, uh, the ability to connect with Wikitest, yeah, which is- Everything's got to connect with Wikitest now. Yeah, and it's awesome. Awesome. So imagine somebody doing wiki tests and searching on something, and that information automatically being sent to your stranger for the review. Yeah. Pretty cool. So that that integration is amazing. information, right? The search word and the the word. So the search term and the word. The search word is sent automatically, and I just want to take yeah. a moment to thank Mark Hursting. Mark is what a mensch, what a wonderful human being. Uh, not only has He's amazing. Well, not only has he created incredible uh, products for the magic community, he's been so gracious and so supportive to me, but I also know to so many. And, um, and I, he really deserves a, a huge round of applause and a huge thanks uh, for all that yeah. he's done. I'm really grateful to him. Um, so the, the search word is sent automatically. Uh, the word that is seen in the article is not sent automatically because that's a book test word. Right. Yeah. So there's there's no way for that to be sent automatically during yeah. the course of the phone call. But but through the custom field or the book test feature, 
that can be sent quite easily. So both pieces of information are, are easily sent over the, to the stranger. It's really great. Yeah. Yeah. No, it, it is. And I, and I think that I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to be too gushy because I don't always, or to, but to be honest, I don't review stuff I don't like. I mean, that's kind of the rule. I don't. So, but it, but it, and I think the, I think the, the in-app purchase that is, I think is a no brainer for me is the, is the $3.99 uh, text um, is a month for the, for the one thing that it does that just makes everything so much easier and you can choose to use right. that or not. Um, so just again for transparency, but but again without it, you've got something that, that I've done a few times and it's and it's killed. Is there anything else you you want to say about it? I mean, one yeah, you know, anything else you want to say before we kind of start, you know, rambling on about other stuff? But no, you know, I, I yeah, I will say um, you mentioned. Yeah, I want to talk about the community for a moment. Yeah, because that that to me is is what's so important here and so amazing. Uh, what's been built around it is this community of people that are all like. They all want a good thing, right? They all want to help each other. They're, it's great. they're really, they're really uh, it's an amazing group of people. I always knew when I called it the stranger that I wanted strangers to become friends. The strangers, yeah. T-shirts and people, people are talking about T-shirts now. And yeah. <laughs> it's a great T-shirt. We're strangers to each other. Yeah, put your trust in us. Uh, yeah. And I'm really proud of it because this, this community, they're all people that, that have become friends. I become friends with people, with a lot of these folks, and and uh, and they all want to help each other. And so we have that Facebook community where it's so positive. Yeah. And then we also have WhatsApp communities. And these WhatsApp, because people have asked me, well, how do I get people to help me, right? How do I find people to help me? Well, you can ask anybody in your contacts, anybody that yeah. you know to help. But this group of strangers, they all want to help you. And this yeah. idea that you would have a group of magicians that all, they, they love being the stranger as much as they love being the magician. And so the idea of being a stranger to somebody else, not to make themselves look good, but to make the, the magician look good, it's pretty powerful. And so we have these, we have these uh, WhatsApp groups that have formed. And these are on WhatsApp, these are groups of strangers. Yeah. Uh, and you can put in there, I need somebody to help me right now or in 10 minutes. And you will get a stream of people saying, I can help you, I can help you. It's Brilliant. unbelievable. And so we started, the, obviously the first one started here in the US and, and run by Gus Garcia, who's an amazing, uh, he's great friend. Great. I've seen him all over the place. He's, he's the one that said that uh, it's like an instant nail writer or something, it's like a modern nail writer, right? Yeah, it is. he's a custom field, an instant nail writer. Exactly. Yeah. It's a modern day nail writer. He coined that phrase and he's right. Uh, I love it. Yeah. So, uh, so, and he runs the group here in the United States and he facilitates that. And then he also helps to get other facilitators in other countries up to speed. So he's really been a, a tremendous help. And so we have a group in the UK, we have a group in Germany, we have a group in Canada, and I wanna start groups in other countries as well. Um, and these groups, and we, we just, start, I think we're just starting one in, uh, in uh, Belgium. And uh, so, uh, and these groups are, 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 are strangers, magicians in those countries that want to come together and be support systems to other strangers. So it's really something else. And, uh, and I'm, uh, I'm really grateful for it. And I think it's an amazing community of people. And, uh, and a shout out to, uh, you mentioned Mad Tad, Tad Nyland. He's been there since day one of this thing. Uh, I've always said he's the original stranger. Uh, he is, he's something else. He's, he's not only one, you know, my best friend, but he's also, um, he's, also he, he's just a, Tremendous human being, and he's been there since the beginning. And he's he's uh, he's a, a great help. He's put out his Mad Tad tips to, to give yeah. tips performance, and those are on the member site as well. All those videos, and it's really it's really great. I'm really grateful to him as well. And and uh, so we have a great time doing it. And for a long time before it was released to the public, we were the only ones doing it, right? Uh, uh, using the stranger as an app. So. Anyway, uh, and a big shout out, I, I'm just gonna keep doing it. A big shout out to Robert Ramirez, uh, yeah, who he gave really started, the yeah, the, the original kernel of this comes from, from Robert, uh, that he had, he had uh, discovered uh, a way to, um, uh, through some research, he figured out a way to, to do this with your phone, uh, to call somebody with your phone just as it was. And, and he brought a small group of us together to do it. It was so much fun. 
And then I decided to take that and say, okay, how do we make this into something that can do some of these other things and be a little more streamlined? And, uh, but, uh, but, but uh, wouldn't have started without Robert. And I also wanna give a shout out to uh, Chris Rubens, who's over in the UK. And we're talking about the WhatsApp community. And Chris, Chris has taken this by the, by the uh, whatever you call that, right? He's really yeah. gone out <laughs> and he's facilitating our WhatsApp group over there in the UK. And it's so uh, great. He, he loves it. And uh, he's really taken this on uh, as a personal uh, thing for him as well. And, and so if anybody's interested in the WhatsApp group in the UK, you should reach out to Chris. So really grateful to everybody uh, and the whole community. It's, it's really a group effort. I will, will say that. Uh, everybody's been so, uh, so wonderfully engaged, especially on Facebook. And so I listen to all as much as I can and, and, and try to continue that development process. So to answer your question, it never stops it's going. Casey, my girlfriend, laughs at me and says, every time I go, I'm just going to do this and then I'm going to take a break. She says, okay, sure. Because uh, it never stops. Uh, every single day, I'm on the phone with my developers and we're trying to create. And I've got new features coming out. I've got 2.1 plan that's coming out soon. Great. I've got 2.2 plan. I've got, I, you know, it just, it, the, the roadmap is there. People have asked me, are you going to stop developing? And I, you know, maybe, I guess someday, but I don't see that happening for any time in the, in the distant future because I've got so much planned for it. And, I, and personally, I want to keep doing it. You know, it's too much, yeah. it's too much fun for me. And as a magician, uh, I want it for myself too. So, you know, the new features that come in not only come from users, they come from me. What would I want to do? And, and I want to keep creating. So, uh, yeah, so that's, uh, I'm quite proud of it. And, and uh, I appreciate it, having any opportunity to talk about it. Yeah, no, no, and it's, it's, it's clearly obvious. And, and I was thinking because you're a producer, you're an actor, you, you're, you've done, you've, obviously you're a magician and you perform. But my, I was thinking, I don't know about you, but when, when lockdown started, I kind of then dove into my online stuff and the work that I could do like my card course. And, and, and that was like, okay, well, if, we, if lockdown stops now and I'm just doing that, would that be enough for me? And I'm kind of going, yeah, you know, I've kind of, and, and I'm thinking about you. I mean, would you, how's it going to work when they say, okay, you've now got your presenting jobs and is that going to be too much for you to deal with this and that, or, or are you going to still be focusing on different I've always, been, I've always been someone to wear a lot of hats and to do a lot of juggling. I always have done that. And it's something that keeps me creatively uh, motivated uh, and engaged. So I've always done that. And I enjoy it. Um, I've, so from the magic performing standpoint, do I miss performing in front of an audience, a live audience? Oh yeah. Um, but I very quickly started to get on the, you know, change my technology and my, you know, I've got cybermagicshow.com um, and I'm doing online shows and I'm really happy with the way that's working and they're getting better and better and better in, in, the, in the way they're being presented. So I, I've, I've, I've um, embraced that very quickly. My magic coaching, um, has really taken off. Uh, I've always done that, but now I've been very active in promoting it. And I've been working with a lot of people, uh, coaching them online. And we're, we, um, that's been tremendous for me. Uh, uh, that's been really tremendous for me that, um, uh, and it, it really gratifying to work with so many people, uh, and really help them with their, because we end up talking about not just their magic, uh, effects and their their methods, but we talk about character, and story, and structure, and all of the things to put together their act, and that's been incredibly gratifying. And that's where my wheelhouse is. Uh, that's what I bring to the table, and so that's available, and that's been really great. And my website has information on that. Uh, and and then as far as television production and film production, I'm working on films with my partner that we are trying to take it really move them these some of these projects along and take advantage of the fact that. We have not only this downtime, but when we come out of this, we're going to be ready to possibly go into production, which is great. And then television, I have a TV show that um, is with a network now that that um, has not that, that is still alive, and so that's great. And I'm pitching I, a couple of weeks ago. I pitched another TV show over Zoom, and so that's still happening. Um, so I, I'm trying to not only I'm keeping so incredibly busy. And still, so not only in new ventures, uh, but also building on ventures that I've wanted to build on and also finding and also staying with what I've been doing. So I've actually been busier now than I've ever been and I'm happy about it. And, the, and then the stranger is keeping me incredibly busy, uh, you know, 
as you say, I put out daily updates when I can, yeah. not only in the community, but also working with the developers. We've been putting out new updates for features uh, along the way. And so that's kept me busy. And then I'm also on the board of trustees at the Magic Castle, and that's kept me very busy as well. I think I got elected about a week before we went into lockdown. So <laughs> we, we launched into it. So now what we're doing for our Magic Castle members, our AMA members, is uh, when we have perks in person at the Magic Castle every month, but now we're doing online perks twice a week, uh, Sundays and Thursdays. And so for our, for our members worldwide, they're able to engage with us on our Facebook, private Facebook AMA Magic Castle website or uh, Facebook page. And every Sunday and Thursday, we're doing these perks and I host them from my place. So, uh, and so we bring in different guests and we have different presentations that have just been amazing, amazing pieces of content. And, and so that's kept me busy as well. So I am certainly um, not at a want for things to do. No. Uh, and I'm, and I'm having a ball. Yeah, I, but it's, it's, it's really funny, it's because uh, a lot of people are, they've, they've got, you know, people saying, I'm not doing gigs, there's nothing to do, and every, every loads of things are happening on Facebook, and there's some great stuff happening, but I find myself getting lots of messages by, from people that are a bit bored and want to, and I'm, I'm kind of like busier than ever as well, and, and there's nothing wrong with that, but it's really hard to, that's why I was wondering how you're dealing with, because even keeping up with family, friends, people that are close to you, and I got a point a couple of weeks ago when I, was, I had text fatigue. I was like, I can't text anymore. So I have to kind of do the audio, not bang, you know, talk because it, it just got, so it's a lot to deal with, you know, those, again, no. hats off to, to doing it. Yeah, thanks. I think we have to, we're learning new ways to communicate, you know, and, and when I say, hey, let's have a Zoom coffee, right? Yeah. I, I'm actually connecting with people that I, around the world, that I've yeah. wanted to connect with all, you know, we, we say, how often do we say, you know what, I can't wait to see you, but we never see you, right? We never do it. Yeah. And, and th this has sort of given us that opportunity to say, look, exactly. I mean, well, let's spend half an hour on Zoom and do it, you know? And because if we go out and we, we have to, we go to coffee and we meet someplace, well, first of all, I can't do that with somebody that's not in LA. And, and, and it takes more time. This allows us to really have these connections in ways we never have before. I think it's so great. So valuable, and uh, so I've I've really been uh, very grateful for that. And we also have to make efforts to do it and have social hour and have a happy hour, and yeah. you know whether we're drinking or not, just have that that concept of that time at the end of a day, or you know where we say let's get together for an hour and yeah. and have some cheese and crackers over the you know I played Monopoly with we Casey and I played Monopoly with our two good friends yeah. last week, you know, or a couple weeks ago, and and they had a board board and we had a board and we played together and you know it, we're just finding new ways to do it and you just kind of have to do it you got to embrace it and jump in brilliant and what a lovely job so what, yeah. the one thing i want to finish with because because again i wouldn't have done this had it not been you know i've been wanting to do this for ages so thank you i hope it was okay i hope it's not the you know the first the first interview i've done i hope it's not the one to look back at the embarrassing first one you've been great but i hope you know i hope i've been uh, giving you oh enough. my gosh well, I have to, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be totally honest. Hold on. I'm going to plug in here. Don't, don't leave. Don't leave. This is just real life. Computers now need power. Um, the truth, look, I am so grateful to meet you uh, and, and meet so many people around the world uh, in this way. Uh, and we just have great conversations, you know, and, yeah. and uh, I'm, I'm grateful for it. Uh, I'm grateful to you for reaching out. Um, I, 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 I'm grateful to, for the fact that now you and I know each other and that yeah. those will continue. I know that. Uh, I mean, what a, what a wonderful world that we're in. Right Absolutely. So, you know, what a lovely community we have, you know, I was down on it a few years ago and I think it's a really thriving, lovely, caring, compassionate, you know, people wanting to help each other community. And, and just before we finish, I want to finish everyone by saying, have you got any rec anything you've seen from other magicians, any products, any DVDs, any downloads, any tricks that you've seen recently and gone, that's great that you're playing with that you could recommend to other people that maybe I could recommend? Well, you know what? Yeah, it's a good question. Um, I, I, first of all, I'll go back to WikiTest for Mark Kirsten and just give him a, 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 yeah. a, a shout out. Because as if you're trying to do something uh, digitally, um, it's, a, it's an amazing uh, piece great? of technology. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it's great. And he also has been very good about putting out, hey, here's how to, I've modified it to make it available for Zoom in a better way. And, yeah. you know, he's really great about it. Um, 
I just recently got Ryan Puckett's book, actually, which is really amazing. It's uh, great. Really great. Uh, yeah. So I've enjoyed that. And, uh, and that's the one I'm going to give a shout out to right now. Uh, and right. I'm just... 40s book that I have not books, but I've not had a chance to really crack them yet. But uh, but yeah, so I would say instead of the, the individual tricks that I've been seeing out there, uh, uh, pick up a good book and, you know, we don't get a chance to read as often as we would like, I think, these days. And this is a good opportunity to do it. Yeah. Thank you so much. And uh, I really appreciate it. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And thanks for the stranger. I'll put all the details below. And I will do a further Q&A for people that have got questions uh, after this as well. Steve, thank you so much, my friend. And it's really great to see you. Thanks for taking the time. Thanks very much. Take care, Jonathan. Cheers. Bye. Bye. So thanks very much. Please check out the section underneath for all the links that you need. Uh, any questions you've got, bring them into the live sessions on Mondays. Again, I'm trying to do Thursdays as well, but it's kind of difficult at the moment. So we'll do a live session uh, Monday. And of course, if you're watching this later on, look in all the comments to all the info you may need. So thanks very much. Take care, stay safe and have a great one.